Kaylee with From Japan. So as you can tell by the title, today we are doing da -da -da -da, the Pokemon Chocolate Shop. Oh my goodness. So basically what this is, is like this little kit that where you can make this little chocolate factory with Pikachu as the Willy Wonka. And you melt chocolate and then you put them in the mold and then you cool it by putting ice in this little part right here, so. Super excited to try this out. So if you don't know, From Japan is a shopping proxy service. So uh, a lot of really cool things like this um, are released in Japan, but they do not ship abroad. Um, but what From Japan does is we make it possible for people in other countries, maybe someone like you, to buy things like this. So we act as the proxy, the kind of middleman to get these items to you. Um, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Um, please check out our other videos where we show you some other products. But today we are going to dive into this. So here is the box, so you can get a good look. Really, really cute packaging. On the back it shows you everything that comes inside and we'll go ahead and show you what those parts are now. First you've got this pink part that looks like a base. There are two teal parts. You also have these brown parts to the actual chocolate factory, the gears. But you get these tools, which are a little container to put the chocolate in, and then a spoon, and this kind of pointed tool that really helps you get in crevices. It also comes with this little Pikachu that can sit and supervise you while you're making chocolates. He sits on the factory. so. Super cute. So as for the paper parts that come with it, there is a really cute little menu sign that you can prop up outside of your chocolate factory. There are also stickers. And these really adorable little boxes that you can make. It also comes with instructions. And of course the instructions are in Japanese, but you won't really be needing these if you're watching this video. It also comes with molds. Of course, for the chocolates, you can see them here. Um, it's these along with some smaller ones that you can see here. Um, and you'll see those in the next clip. So aside from all of the items that are included in the kit, there are some things that you will need to bring to this project. First of all, you will need to get the chocolate to melt. The box actually suggests 45 grams of chocolate, which is about one and a half ounces. You will also need a container that is just larger than this one so that you can place it in this bowl because this bowl will be filled up with hot water to melt the chocolate. You will also need ice, which I haven't brought out yet. They very specifically suggest eight two centimeter wide ice cubes, <laughs> but really you just need enough ice to kind of fill this area here. And on top of that ice, you will add salt. So that's what I have the salt for and they actually specify four tablespoons of salt, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and see how it goes. So you will need these items plus the ice. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and assemble it. I'm excited. So first I have the teal pieces to the factory and the super cute sticker sheet. Oh, wow, these stickers are really sticky, so don't mess up. <laughs> because they're really hard to take off. Okay. Okay, I thought that this sticker went on here at a glance, but it actually doesn't. It goes on the base. Then you put that sticker right here on the front of the pink base. Now we're gonna assemble. So first I'm gonna put these together. Like so. Then you're gonna place it on the pink one. So you'll see with this brown ring, one side has four notches that you can see, the other side doesn't. You want the notches to be facing up when you put it right here. So you also have these two other little gears. The one with the knob goes towards the front here. And the one with the little stud poking up goes in the back just fits all nicely into each other. So Pikachu sits on this stud and if you're having a hard time pushing him on, 
Um, if you look closely, you can see that there's a little notch to one side, so he does need to go on a specific way. It's not just both ways, so make sure that you um, are lining it up properly. So yeah, now we've got it spinning like this. Super cute. I've also created my little pop-up menu sign. What will go in between these two rings is the mold filled with chocolate. What I'm gonna do next is go ahead and fill the chocolate molds. Then I'll come back and fill this with ice and salt and we will see it in action. We have milk chocolate, white chocolate, strawberry chocolate, and we also have our molds here, as well as our cup and spoon. Pop them in. Okay, so I've got three pieces in here. Okay, so we have melted our milk chocolate in the hot water. Okay, let's see if I can make these look cute. I'm gonna fill in the front of Tepig. Oh, I am worried about the outline of the star. Wow, I'm scared. Shook and terrified. I'm also gonna do the details on Pikachu and Oshawott with this milk chocolate. Okay, let's heat up the strawberry chocolate next. As you can see, it's strawberry inside of milk chocolate, so I have no idea what color this will turn out when we melt it all together, but we're about to find out. Okay, so we have stirred up our strawberry chocolate, and as you can see, it is not pink whatsoever. Um, but it does actually look a little bit lighter than the milk chocolate, and it smells like strawberry. It smells amazing. So I think I wanna do Deerling with the full strawberry chocolate to fill it. Okay, so here's Deerling, pretty clean edges. And next I want to do the front of Mincino. I really hope these turn out cute. I mean, it'll be cute either way because Pokemon, but... Huh, that one got kind of messy. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, at least it, this one was more melted than the milk chocolate. You can kind of tell because Tepig looks a little rough and then Mincino is kind of like a little too melted. We're also going to do the accents here on the Snivy and Tepig one. Okay, so there is the strawberry chocolate in. We're about to mix it up by adding some white chocolate. So here's the white chocolate, it looks really good. It smells amazing. I'm gonna do Oshawott white. And I'm gonna go ahead and do Pikachu. I don't know how people would get this super precise, but kudos to them. Oh no! Okay, Pikachu, I'm so sorry I did you dirty like this. Okay, and we're also gonna come over here and do the accents of Deerling and Mincino. Okay, that's one tray done! Okay, awesome. We've got our ice, and we're gonna go ahead and pour it in. And I just realized there's a little place up here for you to put the thing, it's so cute. There's also a place here, I wonder what you should put there. Anyway, we've got it filled with ice, now let's add some salt. So we've got our mold of Snivy and Tepig, and see these notches on the outside? So you're just gonna line those up, matching up the notches, yay! Now we're just gonna take this ring, don't forget about this. Okay, we're placing that in so it's secure. Okay, 
you can definitely see it cooling from the middle. Look at little Pikachu go! <laughs> okay, they look pretty hardened, so let's pop them out. Okay, so here is the one that we cooled in the Pokemon Chocolate Factory. The other two I just popped in the freezer while we were doing that for the sake of time. And that's kind of a good idea for you too if you decide to buy this kit. Um, you don't have to like do it in the Chocolate Factory, obviously. It's kind of nice to just have the molds and be able to pop them in the freezer. Um, but okay, let's see how they turned out. Okay, so I popped them out and kind of rearranged them so they look cute on just a little tissue. But yeah, they turned out okay. I mean, you can see Tepig's a little bit rough. The Pikachu, you really can't see the chocolate behind him, so they kind of look like they were just one color, but um, yeah, like the molds are definitely amazing. They popped out really easily, and they're super, super cute. I feel like anyone would be really happy to get these as a gift, even like the smaller ones, like the little accent ones. They have these details like, being these specific types of Pokeballs. Even, they even have a little Master Ball um, that just make them so cute. So if you're a Pokemon fan, I feel like you would really love these. And just as a reminder, um, it comes with these cute, cute little templates that you can turn into adorable little boxes to put the chocolates in to give to your friends. So it comes with three of these, all different, all really, really adorable. So, I thought the Pokemon chocolate shop was really fun. Um, really, my thoughts on it are that if you love Pokemon, you love cute stuff, you love chocolate, it's a really cool kind of thing to add to your collection. It's really fun, and my favorite part are the molds. I mean, the actual the paper parts, like the little boxes and the little menu are really cute, as well as the little Pikachu figure that you get. But the actual little factory itself, I think is really fun, like if you wanted to do it with maybe like a younger family member. It seems really fun for like little kids, um, but it could be a really cool way to like introduce younger kids to Pokemon or maybe something like that. I thought that it was really nice quality. Every, all the pieces fit together nicely. You can tell that it's, it's good quality. So yeah, that's it for our video on the Pokemon Chocolate Shop. Guys, one more thing I wanna add is to be sure to follow us on Instagram if you're not already. We are at fromjapan.co.jp. So this is a little glimpse at our Instagram at the moment. Um, we show you lots of new items that are dropping, Japan exclusive items. And we also show you general types of merch that you can buy from all kinds of series, like anime series. Really just tons of stuff. Um, we show you on our Instagram, so be sure to go and follow us there. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!